you can see that Bella wants to be off, but you can also see that she's not pulling on her lead rope to be away. She, she's trying to contain herself and be a good girl. And um, I just say, now, come on, steady. And she immediately, look, slows down. And you can see she stands and allows me to take the lead rope off. And she's only 18 months old and has been stuck in the stable because of the bad weather. I think that is very good. It's very windy and it's raining very hard. sheep are in the field. I think that's what may have got her attention, but they are quite far away. I'll go get the rope. Yep. <coughs> Renz is in the house, filming from an upstairs window because it's too bad to take the camera out. It just gets soaked. The field and the paddock are completely waterlogged. It just, it would be had so much rain, the water won't soak away. So there's little lakes forming, not only in our field, but in other people's fields as well. It looks like we've got the Yorkshire lakes now. That gunshot sound is the bird scarer. It's going off all day at the moment, intermittently, not all the time. Um, but they will be moving it shortly, it's just at the moment it's right near us. I'm taking a while because I have to put Farouk's outdoor rug on.
Bella heard Farouk and I come in, so drop the ball. Okay. I've replaced one of the plastic bird feeders with a wooden one and it's got a lovely little slate roof it looks like a little house I'm really pleased with it and it's cheaper than the plastic I think I can say without fear of contradiction, that's a reasonable capriole. I think you'll agree that Farouk doesn't look terribly happy out in that weather.
think you've all noticed that Bella's got a bit cheeky recently, not just with us humans, but with Apollo. And um, Apollo's given her the look, you'll see here, with the uh, direct look to say, right, move. And she's not moved. And that was definitely the look. So he now moves himself into position to give her a double barrel. And um, she thinks, ooh, yes, but she is a bit trapped in that corner. So she does move, but not enough. You can just see Apollo bringing his legs forward underneath him and his bottom going down. And she definitely knows she's in a sticky position there. So she does go on and Apollo just reinforces that by uh, just putting a leg out to say, look, go on. Um, fairly close to her, but not not um, meaning to kick her, I don't think, there. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for part two. If you're new to my channel and have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon. I upload a video every day and sometimes even two a day. If you're new to my channel and would like to catch up on some of my earlier videos, all you need to do is click on the horse's head icon, which will take you to our home page. We have over a thousand videos to choose from. Once you've selected videos, just click on the sort button for the most popular, for the newest or oldest. Thanks for watching. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.